Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. hello, good evening. How are you? I'm great. Excellent. So that's awesome. Hello, Karen. Hello, Maria Santos. Hello. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Let's see who else is here. Okay. Hello, Jose. How are you? Hello, Jenny. Hello. I'm fine, thank you. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Sara, hi, Sarita, how are you? Thinking Hello. about passive voice. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's see. Um, Karen Elizabeth, hello. Uh, Elisa Reli, Wendy, hello, Wendy, hi, nice teacher. to see you. Hello, Edgar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Selma, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, so we're about to start. We have a lot of activities, so um, let's just begin, okay? In today's lesson, we're going to be checking, um, well, we continue. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not the one. Okay, let's fill in. In today's lesson, we're going to be checking on the passive voice again. Uh, we continue with this awesome topic in... We're gonna be checking the passive voice uh, without by. Okay, so can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, I can see. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you help me reading that, please? Anybody? Let's see. Edgar, are you here? Edgar, Giselle, Elisa. Okay. Um, look at this. This is our class objective. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use the passive voice without by. And we're going to be checking some important things about it. Okay, so look at this. So this is the first, um, let's say, part of the class. And we have some important information about the passive. Let's see. I need a beautiful voice or a strong voice. Can you help us, Sarah, Elisa, please, with the reading? Uh, the first paragraph. Yes, please, and the examples. Uh, passive structures without an agent are very common. We use these structures when an agent is not important or, or is unknown or obvious. Mm -hmm. So what the are some examples? Please go ahead. The passive voice is used frequently. Uh, the, the house was built in 1954. Hmm. Okay. 16, 54. Yes. 16, 54. Okay. The road is being re repaired. Okay, excellent. So if you notice, uh, well, as we mentioned uh, yesterday, uh, the agent is not really important or when it's obvious, right? So that's not necessary to add that agent. So um, it means that you don't have to add by, right? Uh, for example, the passive voice is used frequently. So we are interested in the passive voice, now in the who uses it, right? Uh, the house was built in 1654. We're interested in the house, not in who built it. The road is being repaired. So we're interested, right, in the road. No, the people who was doing that uh, activities, right? So not the people who was repairing that road. Okay, so this is uh, 
this is uh, all we have to say about these agents, so when not to use that. And we have some examples. So look at this example, discoveries on Mars were, so what will you add? So what will you add? Discoveries on Mars were, so could you add a participle form? Uh -huh. Discoveries on Mars were, so what could be a past participle form to complete that statement? Let's see, volunteer then, our big team. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Elisa, Elisa, what were you at? Discovery of Mars were? I don't get it, please. Mm, okay. So how about the verb make? So what is the participle form? Guys, making ah, that's a okay. Making it's a progressive form, right? How about the past made made and the past participle made again, right? So discoveries on more were made. Okay, so what you need to know about this um, structure is uh, basically the verbs, the present, the past, and the past participle. So that's the third column uh, in most of the list that we use, right? Um, let's see another example. How about this one? Vaccines for COVID-19. Any idea? So who wants to complete that sentence? Vaccines for COVID-19. Let's see, Giselle. Remember the structure. We need verb to be and we need a participle form. Vaccines for COVID-19. What bird, teacher? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take the bird. Remember, the B form can be in the present and the past, so that depends on the time or the on the tense that we're gonna use, right? For example, we're gonna use in the past form. Vaccines for COVID-19 were, were made, okay? were created, Invent. were done, uh -huh, were invented, discovered, were discovered, okay, were discovered, were uh, any other idea about the verb accept? What is the participle form for accept? Accepted, right? Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, I think we have some more examples. So don't worry. Um, a lot of money. So how about that one? A lot of money. A lot of money. Use a simple present form or a past form. It, it doesn't matter. A lot of money, bird to be. Is, is, is important. Where? Is? How do you say robar in English? Robby. Mm, okay, I would say still. Okay, I was thinking about still. What is the participle form for still? Still? Stole. Okay, so let me help you. I'm going to send you a list with the verbs so you can have some more ideas on it. Le voy a compartir una lista de los verbos para que ustedes lo vayan viendo. ¿Cuáles son las formas en participio? Okay, but just give me some seconds, okay? 
I know I have so a uh, list over here. Let me check. Totally. Okay. Yes, you got it. That's the right. Uh, that's what I was thinking about it. Okay. It might help you. I think so. Okay, so now you were you won't be wondering what's a participle form. Well, you're gonna get that in a second. Okay. Intermediate degree. Okay, so open the chat and check the list of verbs, okay? Open the chat. Abren ahí el chat de WhatsApp. Les acabo de enviar una lista with regular, I uh, well, irregular verbs. But there you have some irregular and irregular, okay? So if you notice the column with the participle forms, it's uh, column three, okay? Ustedes notan ahí, ya todos tienen, recibieron la lista. Chicos. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Sí. And remember that in English, we use different uh, forms of uh, verbs, right? Depending on the tense that we want to use, right? Entonces, recuerden que nosotros en inglés utilizamos diferentes formas de los verbos dependiendo de lo que queremos decir. Ahora, si queremos hablar en presente, en pasado, con forma continua, o pasado continuo, formas perfectas. Entonces, um, the infinitive forms, it's used commonly with the present tense, right? Okay, tenemos la forma infinitiva, la pasado simple. There you have it. Uh, for example, arise, arose. The participle for arise is... Veanla ahí en la lista. Es el primero que está ahí en la lista. So check that. Arise. Arise. No sé si así se pronuncia. Yes, arisen. Entonces, with the passive voice, you have to use that, uh, that participle forms. Not the past form, the participle forms. Entonces, no son las formas en pasado simple, sino que son las formas en pasado participio. Con el uh, passive voice. Um, en, algunos, en, en algunos, vamos a tener la dicha, tenemos la suerte de que se escriben igual, pero no en todos los casos. Uh, let's check one. Let me see if we have one. Uh, for example, um, okay, for example, bet. Bet, bet, bet. So that's the same, right? It's like, let me see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over number eight. Creo que es el número ocho de la lista. So if you notice, it's basically the same uh, spelling. Es la misma escritura. But uh, not, all, not all of them, right? Uh, but we have some others like, let me see. Okay. What is the past form for the verb feed? Feed. Alimentar. What is the past form? Past form? Búsquenlo ahí en la lista. It's like the, it's like number 20. Alimentar. Feed. Ajá. Feed. Lo encontraron. Feed. The verb feed. So let me write it over here, okay? Okay, feed, the past form. ¿Cuál es la forma en pasado? Feed. Fed. Check it again. Feed. Fed. And the participle form, fed. Y la forma en participio, fed. Ahora tenemos otra ahí, feel. What is the past form for the verb feel? Felt, okay. I felt sad yesterday. No, <laughs> no, I wasn't sad. Okay, feel, felt. And what is the participle form for that verb? Felt. Felt again, okay. En algunos tenemos la suerte de que se escribe igual, but not all of them, right? So that's why we need to uh, memorize that list and we need to memorize that verbs. Okay, so it means that we have to make an extra effort to learn that verb. Entonces, ahí sí tenemos que hacer un esfuerzo extra para aprendernos esas tres formas. Okay, so now that you have a list, I think you're gonna, it's gonna be easier, right? 
Okay, let's see. Um, a lot of money was, yes, a lot of money was. Stolen from. Can you give me any idea? A lot of money was stolen from. Let's see. We have from my cards. backpack. From your backpack. Okay. Okay. From your backpack. From anything else? Uh, Edgar, uh, Giselle. Selma, Sara, from your bag, from the bag, let's say that's an example, right? So you're going to be creating your examples in front of the bank, right? Okay. Let's see. Let's continue with some more examples. Computers in El Salvador, simple past, passive. Computers in El Salvador. Well, the government gave a lot of computers right, to the students. What do you think? Convert that active sentence into a passive. Computers in El Salvador were given, were, were given, given to the students. To the students. Okay. Nice. So you see, really easy. Okay. So we continue and uh, we're going to be checking some more details, okay? So this is additional, right? It and there. So we often use an impersonal expression with it or there when the agent is not important. So you talk in an impersonal way, right? It was decided to charge 10 euros per ticket. It has been estimated that in Tanzania, one elephant in three is an orphan. There were no comments given about the proposal and no decisions made. Uh, so no, it means no comments were given, right? So no decisions were made. So you're going to use it or there when you're talking in an impersonal uh, form. Right? Mm -hmm. So he thinks that that's not important, right? The agent is not important. So let's see. Now, you, you have a task. Listen, you have to show me an object and use the following structure. It was made, for example, let's see. Can you see my cell phone? Yes. Okay. That's, it's not a knife. <laughs> but, uh, well, <laughs> okay. It was made in, let's see, in Mexico. And it is used to um, uh, chat with my friends and talk with my students. Okay. So please show me one object. Select the object that you want. Let's see. Volunteer. No, not volunteer. I'm going to start one by one. Vamos uno a uno. Let's see. Jose, please show an object and use these two structures. It was made in. It is used to. Jose? He's, okay, let's see. Edgar. Hello, Edgar. You have to activate your camera, Edgar. Okay, Jose, Jose is back. Hello, hello, Edgar. Okay, let's see, where is Edgar? Leave us a message, please. Elisa, Elisa, please show us an object and use that to structures. In this book? No, it is not a book. Uh-huh. It was made in the Salvador. In El Salvador, okay. And the second one, it is used to. Okay, so you have to complete the second one. It was made in El Salvador and it is it is used to take notes, for example. Uh -huh. To take notes, to take notes. It is used to take notes. Take notes. notes. Yes. Okay, excellent, Elisa. Let's see, Giselle. Uh, no, she has troubles with the uh, rain. Let's see, Jose, again, Jose, you ready? Okay, 
Activate your microphone, Jose. It's off, it's off. Okay, let's see. We continue with the next one. Karen Elizabeth. Karen, show us an object and uh, please use the structures. Okay, it was made in China. Okay. It is used to clean. To clean. To okay, yeah. what is that? <laughs> show us the object. Nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so you, you didn't look for the object. Okay, but well that's fair. It was okay. Let's see. Um. Uh, okay, uh, Karen, Karen Yvette. Karen, one example, please. Yes, teacher. For example, the juice. It was made in El Salvador. It's, it is just um, drunk. Okay. It is just for, for me or by me? No. Or, yes. For me. It is you to drown for me. Mm. It's called or by me. Okay. No. I will use another thing. For example, how do you say hidratar in English? Moisturing. I was here. Look at this. It's used to. Okay. It dried. It dried. For example, I don't know, to get some vitamins. It is used to, I don't know, get some minerals, for example. Okay, let's see. Uh, another example, please. Um, San Elisa. Um, okay, uh, this one, these uh, sunglasses were bought uh three years ago okay and and they are used to protect my eyes excellent very good nice example wendy hi wendy hi teacher will you give us an example please mm -hmm. the table was made in the salvador my computer uh, is used for me at night. Oh, okay. It is used to, okay, for example, to place uh, my stuff, uh, to place my computer and work, for example. So it's used to place my computer and work or it's used to work, okay. okay excellent, Wendy. Let's see anybody else. Uh, we have Jenny, Jenny. You're waiting for this moment, right? Okay. <laughs> it my my cream body cream. Okay. Was made in España. Spain. In Spain is um. It was made in Spain. It used to hydrate my skin. Your skin. Okay. Okay. To soothe your skin. Okay, excellent. Some nice products. Let's see. Um, okay, nice. Look at this. We have some more uh, things to check. And we can use phrasal verbs in the passive. For example, look at this. Oh, not yet. They called off the meeting. What's the meaning for called off? Guys? Called off? What do you think? What's that? Colgar la llamada. Mm, no. Are you sure? The meeting. Let's uh let's see this in context. The meeting was called off. Oh. Hello. Cancelado. Yes, right. To cancel. To cancel. How about look after? His grandmother looked after him. Thank you. Look after, okay, to take care. Take care. Okay, let's see. We are going to create some examples. It was looked after by his grandmother. Okay, so let's see the examples that we have over here. Patients are looked after when they are sick. The party was called off 
Oh, I, I ate enough. It was not delicious. The party was called off because of ideas. Why it's raining? Ah, okay. Because of? Okay, because of the rain. Because of the rain. Okay, so now I need you to complete that example. So please write one example through the chat, send your examples. The wedding was called off because, and you are the compliment, okay? So the wedding, why was the wedding called off? Write your example. The wedding was called off because, let's see, one volunteer. Como se dice novia? Ah, the group. The room, the broom, mm. because the broom is sick. Is sick. Okay. So write your examples through the chat. So write one sentence. I'm gonna ask you. You have one minute. Oscar, <laughs> nice example. How do you say that in English? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna correct that. Uh, bright, so it was bright, sorry. The, um, the other one is uh, El Novio. Okay. Write your examples. Write your examples. The groom, the fiance. Okay. Novio el prometido. So what do you think? So why was the wedding called off? I don't know how to say it. Okay. Let's see. Ready? Ready with your examples. Let's see. Edgar, Edgar, Fernando, Portillo, Edgar. Okay, the bride, because the bride ran away, Sara. Okay, nice, Sara. <laughs> She's, she escaped. <laughs> okay, so having fun with your examples. Okay, so type your uh, examples through the Zoom chat, okay? I'm gonna ask just for uh, some examples. Okay, let's see. Um, Mm, okay, nice, Karen. Oh, the boyfriends or the boyfriend is last. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to select some of you and I read your examples. Okay, Jenny, read your example. I write uh, the wedding was called call off because the, the room is sick. 
Yeah. And the other one is the wedding was called off, called off because the boyfriend is lost. Okay. The boyfriend is lost. The fiancé. The fiancé is lost. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Jose, read your example. <laughs> Jose, read Jose's example. Jose? My example? Uh -huh, read it, please. Sorry, before it's raining here. Uh huh. The wedding? I don't listen, just. Just read your example. Read your example. The wedding call off. I don't see the. Give me a one moment, please. Okay. Okay. So look for that. Yeah. Okay. The wedding call off because the boy is ugly. Okay. The wedding. Okay. But you miss one important part. The wedding was. Jose, look at this. Was. Okay. Uh, I... Was. Was. Call off. Called off. Call off. Because. Because. And yes. I don't know the rest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, <laughs> the boy is ugly. Okay. okay. Something like that you wrote. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Roberto, can you uh, read your example? Roberto Eduardo Scamilla. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, look for your example look for your example let's... you're looking for the chat uh-huh don't worry you, you can look okay for okay i got two the first one is the waiting call off because somebody lost the ring okay the wedding was was or was called off the... uh -huh. so don't forget to convert the bird in the participle form the the wedding was called off the participle called called off Call, because call... because uh, somebody... somebody lost the brain okay let's see karen read your example karen Karen Bernard, yo. Yes, you. Okay. The word was called because the bread and groom are sick. Uh -huh. The bride and the groom are sick. Okay, interesting. Let's see who else. Uh, Selma, do you have an example? The wedding was called off because the boyfriend it is late okay was late was late okay or it's late okay. yeah it's late uh, let's see okay so we continue and how do you say yo me pongo guys how do you say that so learn english to say that <laughs> i um object for example okay so you can say i object let's see we continue, we have some more uh, information about it. And some verbs which are frequently used in the passive are followed by the to infinitive. For example, be supposed to, be scheduled to, be expected to, be allowed to, be asked to, be told to, be invited to, and be ordered to. Let's see. John has been asked to make a speech at the meeting. You are supposed to wear a uniform. The meeting is scheduled to start at seven. So what are you supposed to? For example, I'm Teacher. supposed to, yes? Hey, what is the meaning of scheduled? Scheduled. Ah, programar, agendar. Okay. Thank to you. organize your uh, activities, right? Schedule. 
Thank you. Yeah. I'm supposed to schedule my activities. Okay. Uh, what are you supposed to do, guys? Um, I don't know, at work, for example, or at home. I'm supposed to wash the dishes um, on Mondays. So what are you supposed to do at work or at home? So write your examples. Think about one example. I'm supposed to. Or you can also use a past structure. I was supposed to. Yes. Excuse me. What is the pronunciation? B is cash to ah. or. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have two scheduled, scheduled, or scheduled, 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 or scheduled, scheduled. So we have two scheduled. Is similar or scheduled? It's different. It's different. So that depends. One is American and the other one is British. Uh, scheduled, scheduled. Uh -huh. Scheduled and the other one is scheduled. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. So please uh write your examples. I'm supposed to, or I was supposed to. For example, I was supposed to finish my homework. Okay. I was supposed to finish my homework by um, 7, 7 p.m., okay? So please write your example. So you can use a uh, present tense, um, present passive or past passive. I'm supposed to, so what are some chores that you do at home? I'm supposed to wash the dishes on Mondays. I'm supposed to, let's see, clean what? In the house, for example, I was supposed to do the laundry, but I didn't. Okay. Okay, so write in your examples. Uh huh, Jenny, nice. Nice, Roberto. Nice, Elisa. <laughs> Got it. But you're gonna um, you're gonna escape. Okay. Think about your examples. I'm supposed to. Or you can you can also use any other uh, verb that you have here. I'm expected to pass this module, okay? <laughs> I'm expected to pass this module. No, I'm just kidding. You're gonna pass it to pass um the test. Let's say yes. I expect you to pass the test. Um, I'm expected to pass the test. Uninvited to okay. So I invited to speak with the president. I'm asked to. Finish uh, that report on time. I'm ordered to to leave it there. Okay, to leave. Okay, to leave it there. Let's see, wanna check your examples. Okay, let's see, uh, read your example. Michelle, uh, no, let me see, I'm gonna start with the first one. It was Roberto, Roberto, read your example.
hold on. Uh, let me see. I am supposed to to learn English, but it's hard to me. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to learn English. And I saw another example. You're supposed to work tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's another one. I Let me see. I am supposed to, to work tomorrow. Yes. Uh -huh. Supposed. 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 With T. Supposed. Supposed. Uh -huh. Remember, when you have, when you have a final, uh, let's say, a uh, word ending with a um, voiceless sound, with a voiceless sound, you have to uh, make a T. A T. Uh -huh. I am supposed to. Supposed. 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 Listen. Supposed. 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 I'm supposed to work tomorrow. Okay. But the thing is that you have to, you have to work okay. tomorrow. Okay. Let's see. Nice, Roberto. Sara, Elisa, read your example. I'm supposed to do the laundry once a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you do it? <laughs> Yes, no. You're supposed to, but I don't know if you do it. Jenny, read your example. My goodness. Hello, Jenny. Sorry, to turn my microphone. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, I'm supposed tomorrow I will rest. I'm supposed to rest. Tomorrow. To rest tomorrow. Okay, I'm supposed to rest tomorrow. Nice. Can any of it? I'm supposed to awake late, late tomorrow. Okay, I'm supposed to be awake. I'm supposed yeah. to be awake. Awake. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, uh, Michelle. I supposed to a story tomorrow. Uh huh. I'm supposed to study tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um, Wendy, Wendy, read your example, Wendy. I was supposed to finish the other course in English. Okay. I was supposed to finish the other course. Okay. The other English course. Okay, or you can improve that sentence. I was supposed to uh, to finish another English course. I was supposed to finish another English course. Okay, you, you can check that. Jose? I was supposed to study in vacations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on vacations, on holidays. Okay, Karen? Uh, yeah, Karen is... Uh, I think you, have, you already participated. Uh, let's see. Okay, thank you, guys. And let's see, time is flying. I don't know why, but you have that, that I don't feel that time. Let's see. We're going to complete these uh, examples. Oh, uh, let's see. Can you mention a number? Let me see. Sara, please pick a number. Pick a number, Four. any number. Four. Okay. You are supposed to complete this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, animals that. So what is the form that we need? Animals that are found in Africa. Can you mention some? Mention one animal. Lion. Lion. A lion. A lion. A lion. Just lions. Lions. Uh, uh, elephants. Elephants. Okay. Nice. Monkeys. Uh huh. Jen. Zebra. Zebras. Okay. Jenny, please, can you select a number? Um, seven. Seven. Okay. National dishes that complete that. That 
it it that is are are it it's an it or it's eaten in your country can you mention some uh, like pupusas pupusas what else anything else just pupusas salvadorans only eat pupusas <laughs> no uh, pupusas tamales pupusas uh, and you can mention some varieties okay yuca frita <laughs> no no more <laughs> yuca frita yuca okay it's yaka 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 or chata i don't know any other dish um empanadas <laughs> okay. Elote loco, no sé. Elote loco. Okay. ¿Cómo yeah. se dice elote crazy, loco, teacher? Crazy car. Crazy, crazy car. car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be possible, but remember that they are, um, let's say, names that we have given to them. <laughs> so I think, well, they may have a translation, but, well, that's not the real name, right? <laughs> but you, you can say the crazy car. <laughs> Crazy Carl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, select a number, guys. Please pick any number. Eight. Eight. Okay. Let's see. Popular TV shows dot popular TV shows dot are. Are. Uh, are watching. Washed. 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 Okay. I was in your country. Viva la mañana. Viva la mañana. Dragon Ball Z. Domingo para todos. Oh, yes. Domingo para todos. Okay. Anything else? Piedras. Uh -huh. Anything else? Nothing else? So do you think that's a popular TV show? TV show watched uh, here in El Salvador. Okay, yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So cerrado. <laughs> so cerrado. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. How do you pronounce this verb? Watch. Look at this. Watch. Watch. Uh -huh. Watch. Excellent. Watch. Okay. So when you have a final uh, verb uh, ending in ch t watched watched okay nice let's see uh select another number 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 two two okay huh. Uh -huh. Programs that are installed on your computer. Mention some. Zoom. 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 Okay. What else? Zoom. Mozilla. Classroom. Mozilla. Meet. Meet. Okay. Meet. Classroom. Uh, classroom. Any game? Any game? Any, um, any game. No, no games. And that's that for any game. Okay, no games. Um, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Okay. Do you like to play? Oh uh, yeah, I like it. I, I know how to play <laughs> with my son. <laughs> okay. How about Fortnite? <laughs> oh, for, mm, just for for uh, los niños ratas que le llaman. <laughs> oh well. No, but, and, uh, no. Let's see. Um, Minecraft. Minecraft. I I play I like play with my son Mario Mario uh -huh. Mario Kart Zelda, Zelda Oh okay Solitario <laughs> <laughs> Okay That is old school <laughs> uh -huh. Yes old I'm school. School. Yes it's very very good <laughs> um, Okay let's see um yeah we're um let's see we're supposed to select another number Please uh, select any. Number one. Number one. Okay, let's see. Things mm -hmm. dot. 
are used are used by artists uh -huh. are used by artists i use what do you think they're just by artists and i don't know <laughs> their boys number one <laughs> Fashion books. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Microphone. A microphone. Okay. Microphone. Makeup. Makeup. Nice. Cell phone. Fashion clothes. Cell phone. Okay. How about clothes? Clothes. Different outfits. Yes. You what is cell phone teacher? Cell phone. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, I think we got some number. Select a number, please. Ten. Ten. Let's see. Animals that are kept are keep. kept at home. Uh okay. What is the participle for keep? Carrot. Kept. Keep. Kept. Kept. Yes. Carrot. Carrot. Got. Rabbit, okay, cat, cat, rabbit, mouse, rats, mouse, okay, monsters, mice, okay, mouse, anything else, hamster, hamster, hamster. do you have any of that, turtle, a turtle, mm -hmm. turtle, parakeets, do you have cats, do you have animals, do you Paracha. A <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flying cockroaches. <laughs> there are no masks. Thank you. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Okay, nice. Uh, select another number. So that was too three. much for us. Three. Number three. <laughs> okay, games dot. That played, are played, 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 played in teams. In soccer, teams. play soccer. soccer, soccer, basketball, basketball, volleyball, mm -hmm. volleyball, handball. Okay, basketball, basketball, basketball. Bas okay. Let's see, uh, select a uh, number. Nine. Nine, okay. Things, okay, things. Are made. Are made. And made of little. Made. 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 Uh -huh. made. Things that are made. Are made. Are made of leather. What's leather? What's leather, guys? Leather or heather? Leather? What's that? Mm, I don't know, teacher. Help me, please. Mm, for example, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, wallets or something. Oh, it's wallet. Like a cuero. Uh, cuero. Shoes? Cuero. Shoes. Like a cuero. Uh huh. Mm. Sandals, cinturón, no Sandals, teacher. Sandals could be, I don't know what well, could be. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, yeah, it could be. Um, yeah, yeah. Shoes, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. And uh, uh, five or six. 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 Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna move this a little bit. Six. Languages that ah okay, that's it. Are spoke. Are spoke. Are spoke. Okay. What is the poll form for the verb speak? Speaking. Speaking. No. No. The third no, no. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Spoke. Second, second. Spoke. Spoke. Spoken. 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 Uh -huh. Languages that are spoken in Europe. Europe. In Europe. Um, Any idea? English. English. Okay, you got it. 
I was Thank thinking you. about yeah. any other language, but you French. did great. French. 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 Italian, 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 French. Italian, French, too. French, French. Okay, French. Spanish, Spanish. Okay. English, Italian, Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. Maybe. Okay. Okay, and the last one, but not this one, things that are produced in your country. Are produced. Are produced. Uh, snacks. In your country. Snacks? snacks. Which one? Yes. Uh, Diana. Well, it's not Diana. Yeah. <laughs> clothes. Clothes. Different clothes. Clothes. Okay. Piñata, teacher. How do, how do you say piñatas? Um, I have it right now, but candies. I'm gonna write piñata. Okay. <laughs> candies. Candies. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shoes. For that. Shoes. Chongenga. Chongenga. <laughs> How do you? What? That's chongenga. Coaches. Children. What? What do you say? Repeat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, well, basically, it's the same piñata. But the thing is that la ña no existe. So it's a piñata. <laughs> no, 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 no la puedo pronunciar un, un, <laughs> alguien de otro país. Okay. Um, well, we're going to stop in here and going to pass the attendance, please. Yes. This. Esta clase debería de durar dos horas, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yeah, I don't feel like... Para that. entender. <laughs> yeah. No, para que se me quede no verbo. Oh, well, uh, start practicing that uh, verse, please, because that's going to be really useful. Okay, just give me one second. And by the way, don't forget to complete the activities after watching the videos and the platform. Okay, so remember you have an important task after each session. I don't know if you have any question. Um, okay, uh, Benjamin Alejandro Quijada Lopez. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Elisa Areli Lopez Campos. Here, Miss. Okay. Giselle Maria Hernandez Torres. Present. Thank you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet. Jose Lina Alvarenga Gomez. Present. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlene Elizabeth Bayo Aragona. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Gomez. Guzman. Hi, teacher. Present. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> Guzman. No Nestalí Antonio uh, Mejia Miranda. Nestalí Antonio Mejia. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Uh, present teacher. Thank you. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Thank you, Sara. Selma Yamilet Peña Flores. I'm here. Present. Thank you, Selma. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thanks. 
did I mention all of you? Hi, teacher. Here I am, Karen. Karen. Karen, Yvette, Villanueva. Karen yes. Elizabeth Bernal. Villanueva. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thank you. Edgar Fernando Portillo? Not here. Okay. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, I'll see you in our next class uh, on Monday. Okay, bye bye. Have a good thanks. weekend. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.